black and brown folks, I got a message for you. I wanted to make this video because I actually got the idea from Echoes from above. He made a video about Grant Cardone. I suggest you check out his channel and that video on that. Now, I've made videos like this before, but I don't know how much more clear I can be. People in the comment section have came at me because I've made videos about Larry Jones, Keenan Grace, Chris Sane, and Mommy Trader. The reason why I made videos about them was not to attack them. It was pretty much to wake up their followers and because they have a big following. See, what has happened is different communities have realized that they can exploit, excuse me, that they can exploit the black and brown community because the black and brown community is uneducated. Let's be honest. We're the only community that does not band together and stick together and help each other out. And then when one of us or a couple of us try to help you, you leave in the comment section, uh, we're dragging down our own kind. We don't understand. We you know, I'm sure Echoes from Above has gotten this, and I could hear the frustration in his voice when he made his video trying to talk to you guys. I'm dragging down my own kind. How clear, how much more clear do I gotta be? I'm not you. you wanna know why? I'm educated. I educated myself on how money works. I'm nothing like you. I don't live in the hood. My mom worked three jobs and a little bit of child support, uh, money my dad gave, it helped us get out of the hood when I was in like sixth, seventh grade and I lived in the suburbs ever since. And I'm, I don't mean to break this to you, but I was around smarter people who had smarter parents and I would listen when they were speaking and I grew up differently. I'm not trying to drag you down, I'm trying to wake you up. Hence, Grant Cardone said something in Echoes from Above clip that he put up that he has 50% followers are black and he needs to talk more simple for you. What is that telling you? That means you're stupid. He needs to talk Ebonics and talk stupid and use smaller words for you. That's what he's pretty much saying. I even get comments in my comment section, bro, they ain't never gonna wake up. You might as well leave it alone. You know what? I gotta do this. I have to do this. I have to give back. It was my promise to myself, my mom and God above that I gotta give back. The things that you learn, you give back. You don't keep them to yourself and be selfish. A couple things I've learned is this. Other, other communities will exploit the black community and your own community will exploit you. Hence, no personal attack on them. They're just doing what they know how to do and they know how to get over on you to make it easy for them. When people come out and they say, how you doing good people? Hello everybody, uh, all my good people out there? Okay, okay. Uh, that's a terminology that my dad used to use. Drug dealers on the corner selling dope and shady pastors in the church selling hope. When they come out like that, he's talking to you church going people. Church going people have a tendency, church going black people have a tendency, love God, Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior, but he woke me up and I'm trying to wake you up. Black church going people have it in their head that God is gonna save them from everything. That all you gotta do is let Jesus take the wheel and put it in God's hands. If it was all that simple, he would have us all walking around enlightened and um, you know, and not in poverty, but he does wake some of us up and I'm trying to wake you up. And sometimes he sends, uh, vehicles in the forms of other people who are trying to wake you up. Let me ask you a question. Why haven't you guys figured this out? Why haven't you asked Larry Jones this question? When did you decide to catch the Holy Ghost, stop playing the bass guitar, and start talking about stocks? When did you get so good? I've put proof of people realizing that they can make money off of their own community. They've, they've realized they can make money off of their own community. Do you understand he will be okay? Not from the advice he's giving you, from what he's selling you and the hope. He only is able to sell that hope to people who do hair, fry chicken nuggets, uh, work on corners, don't want to work, uh, stay at home, uneducated people who just who who watch soaps all day and want to eat off the government. He ain't selling us. 
he ain't selling that to us hardworking people because we know that's not how it works. All right. So all of that, all of that crap of bringing in other people and showing you, I'm telling you, that's not how you get ahead. Keep doing it. It blows my mind how stupid some people are. A lot of you think you're just going to invest your way to financial fire freedom. And you listen to people like Mommy Trader. Hello, investy besties. She's talking to the broke mom at home. That's who she's talking to. She's talking to the broke mom at home. And she's trying to key in on you guys with her little booklets and stuff. It ain't going to happen. You want to know why? She's never had a job. Why hasn't people asked Mommy Trader or Shalice? What did you do for a living? You took, you're took taking down videos from before, from 13 years ago. Then you pop up two years ago with $5,000. How did you manage to amass a million dollar portfolio in two years and not show any, any steps? Anybody can make a spreadsheet. For my people who don't understand what a spreadsheet is, a spreadsheet is created on your own computer. You can create a spreadsheet of everything you have, even if you ain't got it. On this channel, I showed my portfolios. I showed my wages. Why haven't any of you asked, show us a real portfolio with buys and sells? None of you people ask these questions. Show me you're holding AMC, Keenan Grace. He made a video on how he's an ape and he's holding you know, AMC and he can sell you how to do this and do that and resistance levels and follow the charts and not your hearts. There's always a bull market somewhere. Jim Cramer has been saying that for years, but he knows you stupid black and brown people probably have never watched Jim Cramer. So he'll just take that and give it to you and you'll think he's a genius. Let me ask you a question. Can I ask you an honest question, black and brown folks out there? Have any of you ever thought to ask him, show me, show me how many shares of AMC you have? How many, how many contracts are you holding on to? Since you're an AMC ape, can you show us a real portfolio? Not a screenshot, not a spreadsheet, not a clip of you making money. Can you show us something that is actually a time and date with um, your name or something on it? You could block out the whole grace or the Keenan. We don't even know if that's your real name, but just show us a real portfolio of how many shares you have. Show us you have VOO. Show us you have VTI. Nobody asked these questions. I'll make it even easier for you. Uh, Chris saying, I, 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 yo, yo. my man blocked his comments. What does that tell you? He blocked his comments. So many people were getting at him. It hurt his feelings and he had to block his comments. And you people follow them. You're never going to get anywhere. This is the reality. If you're out there trying to get an easy, quick buck, you're trying to options trade your way. And I love when people say this. When I make money on options, I put it into the S&P 500. No, you don't. No, you don't. You're broke. You don't have any money. You don't. I've showed my portfolio and my money up there so many times and people will always get scammed by their own people and it breaks my heart because you're falling for it all the time. You need, if you make minimum wage, you're never going to retire. Unless you hit the lottery, unless you hit the Powerball, you're never going to retire because there's something called inflation every year. There's something called the price of living. How are you going to retire? and roll off into the sunset if you don't have a pension, a well-funded annuity. Oh, you think Social Security is going to do it for you? All right. Social Security is not enough. My maxed out Social Security, if I wait to 70 and I make way more than 90% of you out there watching this, if I max mine out to 70 years old, 70 and a half, I get 4,100. That's it. 4100 is not a lot of money when you start subtracting the price of living, housing, taxes, gas, and everything out there. So how are you going to do it frying chicken nuggets and ringing register? I don't know how to make this more simple to you. I really don't. I don't know how to I don't know how to break it down anymore to you. So if you don't get this and you're still following 
to keep hope alive and you're following that dream of one day you're going to get there, it ain't going to happen. I don't mean to bust your bubble, but you're not asking questions. You fl- you just follow blind, follow blindly and think you're going to get there. You can hate me all you want. You can subscribe if you got this far. But if you get something from this, this needs to light a fire under you and you need to go out and get it. Why do you think some men are higher than others in life and some men have higher value because we think differently? Once a woman talks to men like you who play video games and do stupid stuff all day and day trade and then they talk to a person like me. If I was single and they're like, hey, you want to go out for drinks tonight? No, I don't drink. I got to go to boxing. I got to go to work in the morning. I'll hit you when I can, but I'm busy. Guess who they're going to be attracted to? A person like me. They hit you up or you hit them up. Hey, you want to go out tonight? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, I ain't doing nothing. You see the difference between men who are accomplishing something and you? Go get it. This is not to take a stab at you. This is to wake you up. Go get it.